differential analysis concepts, important elements in decision making. To analyze information on a differential basis, you must consider what is different between two alternatives in making a decision, as well as any sunk costs or opportunity costs. A differential cost or income can be described as the difference in cost or revenues between two alternatives. Differential costs can be either fixed or variable. Costs that do not differentiate between two alternatives can be ignored in differential analysis insofar as making a decision, although you may want to include all of the costs when you do a presentation to management so that they can determine that you have looked at and included everything in your analysis. Use a three-pronged analysis approach when determining what costs are differential or avoidable. What are the common costs or revenue associated with the two decisions? List all of those. Next, what costs or revenue are common to both decisions? These are irrelevant or unavoidable. If you make either decision, both will continue irrespective of the decision. What costs or revenue are different from one another? These are relevant or avoidable. If you make one decision, they can be avoided, as opposed to making the other decision. Sunk costs. These are costs that have already been incurred and cannot change. They have taken place in the past. The money has already been spent. In choosing between two alternatives, these costs would not be different because they have already taken place. Therefore, they are unavoidable and irrelevant. Opportunity costs or revenue. These are future potential benefits that do not enter into the accounting record but must be considered in making decisions and included with the corresponding alternative. What is given up as an opportunity once a decision is made is the opportunity cost associated with the decision. Let's look at an example. Let's look at deciding whether or not to keep an old machine or buy a new one. Management is considering buying a new machine to increase capacity by 10%. We've collected some data with respect to the machines and the decision. Let's look at what is different between the two, the two decisions. Using the old machine, our sales will be 90,000, direct materials, direct labor, variable manufacturing overhead, fixed manufacturing overhead, variable selling expenses, and fixed selling and fixed administrative expenses. Now, looking at a new machine that would increase capacity by 10%. What's going to be different as far as the revenue is concerned is the fact that these sales have gone up by 10%, therefore the difference in the revenue would be considered relevant in making a decision. The direct materials, the direct labor, manufacturing overhead that is variable, and variable selling expenses would all be relevant because they will all change. All of these will increase as a function of the fact that sales have increased by $9,000 or by 10%. What would be irrelevant would be the fixed manufacturing overhead. It would not change despite what, if you get the new machine or you keep the old one, they will still stay the same. The fixed manufacturing overhead will still stay the same, as well as the fixed selling and administrative expenses, and therefore they would be considered to be irrelevant. The book value of the old machine would be considered to be sunk. You will have incurred it in either scenario. The old machine you would have incurred it, and even with the new machine you still would have incurred it in the past. The disposal value of the old machine would be a benefit and a relevant portion if you look at acquiring the new machine because you in all likelihood would sell the old machine. Therefore, the disposal value would be different between the two scenarios and keeping the old machine of cost, you're not going to be disposing of it. Therefore, this cost would be considered to be relevant and the market value of the new machine would be different between the two scenarios and would therefore be considered to be relevant. Now let's look at another scenario. Management is considering buying a new machine to decrease the cost of direct materials and direct labor. There's no change in the amount that they are going to be able to produce or sell. The change will be the decrease in cost in direct materials and direct labor. We have the same data and we have the same components associated with the old machine. Now let's look at what will change in respect to the new machine. 
the new machine, the sales will be the same because we are producing the same amount. Therefore, in this instance, since we're producing the same, those cha those costs would be ir I mean, sorry, those sales would be irrelevant. Now, let's look what's relevant and irrelevant with respect to direct, I mean, to variable costs. Direct materials and direct labor would be considered variable because they're going to vary in relationship to how much we're selling. When we look at these, because of the new machine is going to decrease the cost of direct materials and direct labor, and there's a difference between the old and the new, the, the, using the old machine or acquiring the new, therefore these costs will be relevant in making the decision. However, the variable manufacturing overhead will be considered to be irrelevant because it's not going to change, and the variable selling expenses would be considered to be irrelevant because additionally they are not expected to change. Looking at the fixed manufacturing overhead as well as the selling and administrative expenses, they're not expected to change. So in either scenario, these same costs will be incurred and would be considered to be irrelevant. The book value of the machine, of the old machine, is sunk in either scenario. The disposal value of the old machine would be relevant if we acquired the new machine because we would be selling the old machine. And also the market value of the new machine would also be relevant. When you're doing a presentation to management, you would probably do something along this lines to show what's different and what remains the same so that management knows that you've considered everything in your analysis.